What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Speakwell, and in today's video, we're going to be seeing what would happen if LeBron James played in the WNBA. So I was watching YouTube the other day, and I saw this video by Rebound Rewind, where he kind of predicted how good LeBron would do if he was in the WNBA. So I thought I'd actually take this into NBA 2K20, actually put LeBron in the WNBA, and see how good he could do. So we're in the WNBA My League right now, and I got LeBron James on the Los Angeles Sparks alongside Candace Parker. I wanted to keep him on the LA team. Now, originally what I did was I just put LeBron in the normal WNBA My League inside of 2K. And the problem with that is everybody is rated normally compared to other WNBA players. So the top WNBA players are rated like a 95 overall. And when I simulated that season, LeBron couldn't win an MVP, couldn't get any awards and didn't really lead in any stat categories. So what I've gone ahead and done is completely changed the WNBA to reflect LeBron James stats. So LeBron has gone up to a 99 overall in the WNBA and the rest of the players in the league have gone down quite a bit. So the things I ended up changing for most players are inside scoring, the defense, the rebounding, and the physicals. Everything else like the shooting and the IQ, I just kept the same. But more of the physical stuff, I put the ratings down uh, just because I'm comparing it to LeBron James. So obviously inside scoring, these players aren't nearly as good as LeBron James. And then same with like inside defense, uh, rebounding. If these players go up against LeBron James, they pretty much have no chance at stopping him inside or getting a rebound as well as LeBron's pure athleticism. Nobody in the WNBA can even come close to comparing to him. Check out the top players in the WNBA now. Of course, LeBron James is going to be on top, but then Elena Deldon's still going to be the highest rated WNBA player, but she's gone down to a 70 overall. We got Kayla McBride, Brianna Stewart, Maya Moore. All of them are still up near the top, but the players that are better at shooting are going to do a lot better in the simulation because that's not the things that'll change when facing off LeBron James. And pretty much we're just going to simulate through an entire season with LeBron and see what kind of crazy stats he could actually put up in the WNBA. Now, the WNBA is only 10 minute quarters, so I don't think his stats will be as crazy as if it was an NBA season simulation. In terms of kind of the stats he's aiming for, usually the top player in the WNBA averages around 20 points per game. The top rebounder had 9.7 the top assister had 9.1 blocks was two steals was 2.3 so those are kind of the marks lebron is going to be aiming for in this video i am going to be keeping him at small forward i want to make him true to his position even though he'll be one of the tallest players in the league and then i'm going to make lebron james the first scoring option on the team i'm going to play through the star and i'm going to shoot at will just so we could see how many points lebron could actually put up if he went full steam the whole time this roster it did take forever to make as well because you can't actually edit wnba players or put nba players in the game i had to use a bunch of different mods to do everything and this just took so so long so if you guys could smash a like button on this video that'd be very appreciated i also recently helped my friend film a video where we did 40 liters of coke and mentos so if you want to check that out i will leave it linked in the description down below but let's just hop right into this i'm going to simulate the first game and see how things turn out and somehow the la sparks get a loss in their first game to the las vegas aces only 56 points for the Sparks, LeBron James ends up going crazy though. 28 points and 28 rebounds. Not bad at all for LeBron James. Okay, so coming here to the league leaders after game number one, LeBron going to be on top for points per game. I mean, 28 ain't crazy or anything like that. I thought he would have scored a lot more, even though it is shorter games. And then coming to rebounds per game with 28 rebounds, there were three players that had more rebounds in their first game than LeBron. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, hopefully that's just a glitch and doesn't happen throughout the whole simulation because usually players average, the top player averages close to 10 rebounds per game in the WNBA. But let's simulate through game two here, see if it goes a little different and still such a low scoring game, 68 to 57, but LeBron James, went off this game 47 points and 52 rebounds for some reason the coach had everybody playing 40 minutes this game on the starting lineup i guess they do not trust the bench uh but lebron in here playing the entire game he goes crazy this game 
He didn't shoot the best and his three point percentage was kind of low. I'd like him to take a little less uh, three pointers. I mean, 50% is still very good, uh, but I'd, I'd assume he would want to drive inside more. But a crazy game for LeBron here in game number two. I want to come to league leaders. Okay, now he's just destroying for points per game. Nobody is even close to him. 21 is the second highest of rebounds per game. He is at the top now, but I think it's a little glitched out with these other players in the WNBA. I don't know if it's because of the stats. I, I changed the attributes on a lot of players. It's a little glitched out. Steals per game, LeBron fourth in the league. And blocks per game, LeBron is nowhere near the top, which doesn't make a lot of sense because he is one of the best blockers in the league now. This WNBA simulation just a, a little weird here. Okay, another huge blow for LeBron and the Sparks. Let's see what LeBron did this game. If they won 80 to 36 and 40 points, 56 rebounds for LeBron James. Uh, so I'm just going to go and simulate the rest of the season because so far LeBron's stats are looking crazy. Uh, he's just dominating the league so far. But let's see. Okay. I wanted to pause here because the Sparks beat the Liberty 124 to 56. LeBron dropped 62 points this game. That is crazy. This is 10 minute quarters as well. Uh, so a lot shorter games, but LeBron is still going crazy. Uh, but let's see. Uh, what happens if LeBron can get MVP here? All right, we made it to the end of the season and these stats are just ridiculous. 41.4 points per game for LeBron and 53 rebounds. He didn't pass nearly as much in the simulation. Obviously, he would not uh, when he can score as much as he can. 3.4 assists, 1.6 deals, and 1.5 blocks. I think he was a little limited because of 2K simulation in the WNBA. But still very, very good. LeBron does end up winning Defensive Player of the Year as well. So two awards for LeBron James right here. Most improved goes to John Quell Jones. And then Brad Jones, the coach of the Sparks, is going to get Coach of the Year. Sparks with one loss on the season, of course. All WNBA first team LeBron are going to make it on there and the defensive team as well. Checking out the standings, of course, the Sparks going to be up on top. They were one win off going undefeated this season, so they're going to get the first seed in the playoffs. I don't really know how the playoffs work in the WNBA. I believe these two teams face off, then they go against the second seeded team, and then they face off. The Sparks just have a bye to the conference finals, which is only a best of three, I think, and then the finals is a best of five. Uh, so it's a lot different than the NBA here. But I want to come over here to stats, checking out the league leaders. Of course, we got LeBron James up on top with 41.4 points per game. Candace Parker in second, LeBron's teammate. So if LeBron just decided to not pass and had the ball the entire game, I feel like he could have dropped at least 60 points per game. But he, he did still share the ball with Candace Parker, who had 21 points. But other than his teammate, he doubled anybody else in the WNBA in terms of points per game. So just dominating. I, I thought he would have scored a lot more though. But what was crazy is his rebounds per game. He pulled a 53.1 boards. But there was a bunch of players that ended up pulling over 30, over 20 rebounds per game. I think it was a little glitched out with some of the top players here. But I mean, LeBron would have got the most rebounds no matter what. 53.1 is insane. Assist per game goes to most of LeBron's teammates because they kind of just gave him the ball and he did his thing. Steals per game, LeBron was second in the league. And again, three Sparks teammates up on top here. And blocks per game, unfortunately, LeBron not at the top. He gets second in the league. Only 1.5 blocks per game. I thought he would have gotten a lot more. But then check out LeBron's field goal percentage, 53.9%. Nobody coming even close to him. I thought it, this would have been higher as well. I feel like he took a little too many threes during the season. I did put his tendencies so he would drive more. Um, but I mean, it is 2K at the end of the day. Things could have been a lot different in real life as well. But in terms of WNBA records, LeBron is going to beat the record for most points in a season. Uh, just destroying anybody else. Nobody really close to him. Field goals made. He's at the top. Three pointers made. He sets the new record just barely beating out Diana by one point with 122 here. Free throws made, LeBron at the top. 
rebounds lebron way at the top let's just simulate through the playoffs now of course they got the bye to the conference finals and let's see yeah they're gonna move on to the the WNBA finals pretty easily here gonna face off against the washington mystics unfortunately we can't get any gameplay because um it's just not possible to have WNBA and nba players on the same team but LeBron James, of course, going to win finals MVP here. In the finals, he averaged 44.7 points per game and 50.7 rebounds. So just dominating the WNBA. I thought his stats would have been a little better. But nonetheless, he pretty much doubled what anybody else did in the league. But that is going to be it for this video. Um, it, it wasn't the most smooth running thing ever. This thing took a long time to make. So if you guys did enjoy smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and let me know if you want to see any other players i'm thinking i might do Shaq in the wnba i think he would go completely off he would have even better stats than lebron but this has been your boy speakwell and i'll see you next time peace